I mean, we are 30 years removed from the standoff that culminated in a tragedy on April 19th. And that date in turn served as the sort of uh, motivation for the worst domestic terrorism attack that we had uh, in the form of Timothy McVeigh's attack on the federal building in Oklahoma City. So there's a lot of symbology to this place and this anniversary. And while it not, may not be known to most of your viewers, even to Donald Trump, it is absolutely well known to violent anti-government extremists. So when you have somebody like the, you know, the, the former president choosing to launch his campaign by going to this place, having spent the last several weeks and months engaging in very inflammatory rhetoric and postings online, telling people as supporters that he's their retribution, making these dark references to violence if he's charged, I think you are, you are creating a a environment which does nothing but encourages extremist elements to engage in violence uh, going down the line. Yeah. So uh, you have Trump's recent social posts about the hush money investigation. You have the death threats to Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg. So give me a sense of what the FBI's main concern is today. Do you think, given your mention of uh, Proud Boys, Oath Keepers, are there likely specific individuals that it's paying attention to? Well, I think the biggest threat that is out there in terms of being able to understand what is going on are lone individuals or small groups of individuals, not larger organizations which are known, which the FBI has the ability to, and other law enforcement has the ability to investigate, develop sources within those organizations to know mm -hmm. what they're doing. A greater threat occurs to the, you know, the one-off potentially uh, mentally unstable people who become self-radicalized and decide to go and buy, you know, multiple uh, uh, firearms or create explosive devices, but decide to engage in violence outside of any sort of formal structure. So as a law enforcement agency, and whether that's the FBI, whether it's state or local police, trying to get ahead of that is enormously difficult, because in many cases, the people who are individually radicalized don't themselves know that they're going to be radicalized until they hear a speech, until they read something online and something mm. snaps and they decide to pursue violence. So I think in terms of the challenge, uh, that is one of the largest challenges facing law enforcement today.